Hey guys, my name is Seth, and I'm on a mission to restore some honor to the music world, because today's music has gone completely to the dogs. Back in the day, you actually had to have talent to make it big on the radio. Singers actually had to know how to sing without the help of autotune, and people actually had to know how to play instruments like guitar, bass, and drums. That's why I made this show, Classic Rock Review. With this show, I hope I'll be able to introduce my generation and those below mine to some awesome music. So let's get started. Today, I'll be reviewing Queen's album, A Night at the Opera. A YouTube user named Ekgor, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, suggested that I review Queen, especially Bohemian Rhapsody, and that's where that song came from, this album. Uh, it features Freddie Mercury on keyboards and vocals, Brian May on guitar, backing vocals, and lead vocals on one song, Roger Taylor on drums and vocals for one song and backing vocals, and John Deacon on bass. It features Death on Two Legs, uh, Lazing on a Sunday Afternoon, I'm in Love with My Car, You're My Best Friend, 39, Sweet Lady, Seaside Rendezvous, The Prophet's Song, Love of My Life, Good Company, Bohemian Rhapsody, and God Save the Queen. Uh, Death on Two Legs, it is a song dedicated to Queen's previous manager, and uh, it's, it's a really mean song because their manager gypped them, they, they stole money, did not pay them at all. It was so bad to the point where they were telling Roger he could not break his drumsticks because they didn't have the money to pay for them. Uh, I love the song, and uh, I feel sorry for whatever his name was. It doesn't say who it was dedicated to. I don't know their previous manager's name, but uh, I feel sorry for him. I give it a 10 out of 10. Lazing on a Sunday afternoon, it's a kind of, I guess, old-timey kind of like song. It's, it's fun, and it's only like a minute long. It's, it's just, a, a, it's a good song. I give it a 9 out of 10. I'm in love with my car. It's sang by Roger Taylor, the drummer. And uh, it's just as the name suggests. It's about a guy being in love with his car, and he's leaving his girl because the car does not have, yeah, it doesn't complain or anything. He loves his car. 9 out of 10. Uh, You're My Best Friend, written by John Deacon. Um, probably one of Queen's biggest hits ever. Uh, John was an excellent uh, lyricist and an excellent bass player at that. And uh, it, you probably know the song, even if you don't listen to classic rock, you, you know the song. I give it a 10 out of 10. 39 by uh, Brian May, he sings it. And um, it's about a group of astronauts that go up in 1939, they go up into space, and uh, they come back. And they think it's, they feel like it's only been a year, but it's actually been a hundred years, so when they get back it's 2039, and the world is completely changed like it wouldn't in a hundred years. But, uh, it, it's kind of a sad song, but it's a good song. I give it a 10 out of 10 as well. Sweet Lady, it's another one of those kind of old-timey songs. Back to Freddie on vocals. Uh, it's, it's pretty funny, um... I give it a 9, a nine out of 10. Uh, Seaside Rendezvous, uh, yes, definitely kind of old-timey. Um, it's only about two minutes long. Not much to say about it, it because it's so short, but I give it a 9 out of 10. Uh, then there's the Prophet song. And if you're not a hardcore Queen fan like I am, you'll probably get annoyed with it about six minutes into it. It's a long song. It's eight minutes and 17 seconds. Um, I always say that the only thing better than one Freddie Mercury singing is five, and that's what this is. It's just overdubs of his voice. Which I say it's a 10 out of 10 because it's brilliantly done. It really is, but a lot of people don't like it because it's so long and it's it. There's that repetitive section where he's like singing five different times, but uh, it, it's a good song. Um, then there's Love of My Life, another one of Queen's huge songs. It's You probably don't even need to listen to classic rock to know what the song is. It's it's just huge. I give it 10 out of 10, absolutely. Um, Good Company is next, and uh, it's got Brian on vocals again, and uh, it's about 
you know, you grow old and you kind of realize throughout the years who was, uh, who was good company, who was bad company, and as the years go by you realize you just don't have as many friends as you thought you did back when you were young. It's a really good song, I give it a 10 out of 10. And then Bohemian Rhapsody, Queen's all-time biggest hit ever. Everybody knows this song. Yeah, you, you just don't need to listen to classic rock to know what this song is. It's at, at first, everybody was like, oh, it's too long, it'll never make it big on the radio. But it stayed at the top for 17 weeks, I believe. And that was at number one. And that was just huge. Uh, it was Queen's big breakthrough, and they were just huge after that. It's a 10 out of 10. Absolutely. My favorite Queen song, and Queen's my favorite band. And then there's God Save the Queen. It's just instrumentals. And uh, Brian does a really good job on uh, playing his guitar. And uh, I give it a 10 out of 10. So overall, other than uh, that one 9 out of 10, I just, I love this album. I recommend it to everybody. And uh, I hope you like it if you go out and listen to it. Um, if you did, if you don't like it, I'm sorry. Um, and if you didn't like this review, I'm sorry. Tell me what you would like me to review in the comments section below. And uh, I'll try to review it. If I already have it, I definitely will. If I don't, I'll go out and uh, look for it, try to buy it, and review it for you then. Um, until next time, thank you guys for watching.